Have you ever wondered what goes into creating an episode of UH? How about being a fly on the wall as Jay and Beck brainstorm, banter, and offer a glimpse into their madness? It may be crazy, personal, messy, but hey, it's how they get their shit done. So kick off your shoes, pour yourself a little drink of the day, grab that comfy throw blanket, and attempt to relax as you enter into the minds of the maniacs. Welcome to The Writing Sessions. This is Season 2, Episode 11, Ball and Chain, The Writing Sessions. It is about couples. We know that much. <laughs> couples. Coupling couples. When you look up the word couple, it's two persons married, engaged, or otherwise. Two persons paired together. Something that joins or links two things together. Equal and opposite forces that act along parallel lines. Unite. In today's episode, our better halves are joining us. We are joined by not only our better halves but the person we exchange fluids with <laughs> <laughs> it's all fun and games because we're all stupid there's you know what i mean like nothing serious to me at all right ever i took my troubles down tonight you know that keeps me with the gold cap too she's got a bag down on 34 five sell a little bottles of drink of the day what about like love potion number 13 like love potion oh, number nine i like it I remember that movie with Sandra Bullock. And Tate something. What was that dude's name? Oh, yeah. I forgot his name. He didn't. That was banging Jennifer Aniston for a while. Yeah. Tate Donovan. What happened to him? He was around for a little bit. He banged Jennifer Aniston and retired. That must be it. Hey, hey, bro, why don't you uh, do movies anymore? Asshole, I banged Jennifer Aniston. Okay, I'm just chilling out. Uh, Shut up. Everything is complete in his life now. Yeah. (laughs) Tate Donovan. (laughs) Did I ever tell you I don't trust people with two first names? No. no. I never told you that? No. If your fucking name is Jeff Todd, (laughs) I don't trust you. Get a fucking last name. Only person that gets away with it is George Michael. Yeah. Because he's George Michael. But I see these people with two first names and I'm like, no. Or what about the people that completely changed their name like Whoopi Goldberg? Her name isn't really Whoopi Goldberg. No. I think it's Karen Johnson. Is it really? I think so. Well, I heard she got the name Whoopi because she farts a lot. Oh, really? Yeah, like a Whoopi cushion. Karen Elaine Johnson. She's yeah. a Scorpio, dude. I knew it was Karen Johnson. She's one of 16 entertainers to win an Emmy, a Grammy, Academy Award, and Tony, which they call the EGOT. That's pretty good, man. She, she was awesome, dude. She was one of my favorite celebrities. That I met. She was so cool. She was raining in yeah. her day, man. The 80s was her decade. Jumping Jack Flash, mm-hmm. Color Purple, Ghosts. And then she was friends with Billy Crystal and Rob Williams doing that fucking comic, comic eight. eight or something. Yeah. yeah. And she's one of the few people that can get away with not having a fucking single pair of an eyebrow. And That's... she smokes Marble Reds, too. Really? Yeah, I smoked a marble red with her and I was fucking coughing my face off. That is a fucking cowboy killer. Yeah. I know. Holy shit. Marble uh, reds. You want a cigarette, honey? Yeah, sure. How many people did you know that actually smoked reds? We all did, like, marble white and shit. Oh, yeah. Did you ever do one of the six foot bombs that my brother had in his room? No, I did one with <laughs> that he had. It was called the alien. All right, so the six foot bomb happened because there would be these sessions. My brother's room was like a den. He had lights. Dude, his room was as big as my office, and he had a fog machine. And he would do the fog machine so bad that my dad would open up the door and couldn't see us. Yeah, like Who's I'm surprised smoke detectors didn't go off. He would do the fucking smoke, and then he would play Primus. <laughs> And we'd be high. I love privacy. So one night we broke the bong, like, came off the stand. And we're like, fuck, we're fucked. And then we grabbed all his old, broken plastic bongs. And duct taped taped them together? Taped them together. Yeah, you had to stand on the bed to do it. (laughs) My cousin, 
he would do the four foot bongs or the six foot bongs and then puke immediately almost every time afterwards. Yeah, man, because you it's know, too much. I'll, it's too much. <laughs> he, he, he'd be blowing it out. He'd be going, <laughs> and then all of a sudden it, it would smoothly go into, <laughs> <laughs> and he'd be puking everywhere. So uh, we were playing cards. And the card game was happening as usual every fucking day. So I was a little bored that day. And I hung out my brother and was doing some bong hits. His girlfriend, yeah. she's like, can I do a little? And then we all sort of conspired. We're like, we're getting her fucked, dude. So she ripped the six bong. Never do it done weed in her life. And then she was in the corner, like just looking around, right? And wasn't saying anything. And then she went out. She left the room and then like shut the door and then we kept partying. And then <laughs> comes in the room and goes, what'd you do to <laughs> do? I go, what do you mean? <laughs> He's like, she's, uh, she's like kneeling down next to me, like petting my lap and like making animal noises. What the hell? Yeah. And then she started getting the fear and he had to take her home. And so it was a horrible night. She started puking. She was freaking the fuck out. You know what I mean? The fear but always yeah. Yeah, gets you. It gets you, man. Uh, when she hit that bong dude, my eyes lit up and I knew something funny was going to happen and I couldn't wait. She got fucking obliterated, dude. She didn't even know who the fuck she was. Did you get the fear <laughs> often when you puffed? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Insight, foresight, more sight. The clock on the wall reads a quarter past midnight. There was this dude we hung out with, whoever's listening, and he was like, come here, man, got something. He'd always like, come here, dude, you know? And uh, <laughs> He was shaking. He gave us, he, yeah, he gave us a joint. And we were going on the way to see DJ Shadow, Disaster and I, and we were smoking the joint in the car and he fucking laced it with like something like, uh, I think it was, what's that shit? Opium or something like that. Oh, yeah. But opium and shouldn't do that to you. Opium should like make you just tired. This was not, not that. I'm thinking like PCP or something he'd put in He, he laced it with something, dude, because we both started panicking. Hardcore. Like I was shaking. And I told Disaster to pull over. And she pulls over and I get a car and we're at a cemetery. And I started freaking out even more, thinking I'm going to die. You are freaking out, man. We sat there for so long just to calm down that when we got to the SU block party or whatever, it was DJ Shadow's last song, Midnight in a Perfect World. Oh. Another terrible one. When I was in film school, second year, we had to show like our little movies. And, and I have a fear anyway of talking to the class. Mm -hmm. You know, like when I was telling you, I get panic attacks about that. Yeah. So people are starting their movies, and this dude, he always had like leave. He's like, let's go outside, smoke a joint, dude. And well, I don't know what his shit was, but it was fucking killer. We had to go back into the room, and I didn't even sit in the desk. I sat on the floor next to the desk. Because <laughs> I was too fucked up. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. and, and then I had to, I had to get up. And answer questions. They, oh, like no. they did blocks of four. Oh, no. So it was, yeah, it was me and three other filmmakers. And I remember trying to hold the trembling, and a couple people asked me a question. It would be like a one word answer, like, How did you come up with the concept? Like, what, you know, when did this come about? And I was just like, All right. <laughs> you know, or I, I just like. You can't really uh, function because I'd rip a bong hit with <laughs> on lunch break one time and went back to work. And That's the worst. I was dealing with customers. Like no, I'll never do that. I, I can't believe I would do that. And uh, Getting high at work makes the time go slower, too. And not only that, it just sometimes you get so blitzed out that you can't function on the computer and stuff. I was face-to-face -face with people. I wasn't even on the phone or anything. So oh, I, I had a customer in front of me. And, I, <laughs> like, you know how you have those moments where you just space and you can't even, like... I couldn't even register the program I had to type into. He has to pay his bill, and I, I, I can't. Why can't I work this? And I finally got through it, faked my way, wouldn't even look him in the eye. Wouldn't look him in the eye at all. I just, I had super red eyes. So I would just stare down. And uh, I must have been the worst horrible customer service that day. You would get a printout. And on the printout, we had a stapler and you'd staple the couple pages together and give them their receipt or whatever it was, instructions. And yeah. I, I must have slammed the, <laughs> slammed the stapler so insanely that the guy was like, listen, listen, 
You can't be slamming that like that. You're going to end up with carpal tunnel syndrome. And I'm like, what? And he's like... The repetitiveness and the power that you're exerting on this... The stapler is really going to hurt you. <laughs> but you're like, I'm just concentrating. Yeah, like I was like, I was proud I made it to the end. I made it to the point where I could hand him the receipt. That was not the normal me. So that person that was under the influence was completely weird. Then the other time was with and he had me get in the back. Oh, God, I've never really partied with him. You, I can't, okay. You don't ever want to party with him. It's a good thing you missed out on that. He somehow got me in a Trans Am or a Camaro with a bunch of metalheads and we were smoking a joint and I think it was laced with something. And yeah. I remember they always laced them with things. Oh yeah. And he was on an ACDC Led Zeppelin kick at that point. And he had a super system in there. So he had turned it way up. Yeah. It's actually fucking great music to just get high and drive around. <laughs> it too. really is. But like, I don't even know where we were. It was like in the middle of the night in the country somewhere. And I'm smoking with these dudes. I don't know. And I went into like, not a panic attack. I literally, and this was the only time in my life, I felt a wave of electricity start at my head and then slowly go. Like an alien was scanning me from my head to my toes. Wow. And I could feel the electricity go down. And when it would hit my throat, I would try to swallow and then it would go down into my chest. And you know that feeling when you eat something and it gets stuck in your esophagus? I hate that. And you drink and you eat something to push it down because it's lodged in there. And it's so, uh, there's this pressure. So that was happening with the electricity and it's moving down my body all the way down to my toes. And then it would come back up. And go up and down through me. And I just remember just thinking I was going to die. Like, what the hell was happening to me? I was in some weird stasis. So I was horrified to ever do it again. Pretty much when you were with him, he put something in there every time. I don't like that. Fucking tell me. Did that to me all the fucking time. Yeah, you got to tell him. Just fucking say it, man. You're such an asshole. You got to prep people for fucking drugs. You got to be like, look, I got this shit. You know, you got to be ready for it. You got to think about it. Wakey, 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 wakey. It's time for school. Come on, wake up. It's time for school. Come on, man. Uh, one time I got so fucking high that I couldn't take a test, and I, and I got out of it, miraculously. I park at OCC, and then I'm heading to class, and I hear, yo, Jay, and there's the, the dude who cut his thumb off. Okay. He went to OCC, okay. and he, he was a pothead. So it was him, and he was sitting in the passenger seat, and there was a driver and one other dude in the back, and he was, we got one more seat getting back. Like, dude, I got a test in, like, fucking five minutes. Oh, you'll do better, dude, the fucking... And they rolled a joint, they were playing music and shit. I think it was fucking stupid spin doctors they were playing. Little Miss Campy Rock. Uh-huh. And we, we smoked the joint. And then he's like, all right, dude, you gotta go to your test, dude. I'm like, oh, fuck, yeah, I gotta go to my test. That was so fucking high, dude. Um, and I was late and the teacher was waiting outside like stand you know how teachers are waiting for people to come to stand out in the hall yeah I fucking walk approach her I'm like I, how can I get out of this I gotta get out of this I told her I was sick like I started sniffling and fucking uh, I'm sure my eyes are red and I said look I know the test is right now but I'm insanely sick can I just make it up and I couldn't fucking believe it she was like okay alright well you went, like, you went to her that nobody does that. Yeah. Usually people call or just don't show and say, I was really sick. That's what would happen. As my mouth was speaking it, my brain was going, wait, we're telling her something like this where she might say, well, why don't you try just try the test for now? Right. And then, you know, if you can't finish it, it could have backfired. It could have backfired on you. Or you could have gone in there and been like an Einstein. No, there was no Einstein. No. This was panicky, you know, lightning going through you when you're vibrating oh, through your panicking. Yeah, yeah. Scared, <laughs> okay. Like that. But to have you had genius happen when you were high? Oh, of course. All the time. Like right now. <laughs> like right now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
What if we rim <laughs> we rim the glove potion glass with Spanish fly? Okay. We want you to break beds with this shit. And like, the couples are going to drink this and destroy their bed frame. <laughs> right. What color do you think? Like a red or a pink? Red. I saw Spanish fly once at the corner store when I was a kid. He had it right next to the fucking counter. Was I'm it? like, they really made that shit? They did. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> Girl, it. What's the, what's, the, uh, how's, what's the chorus of that one? I'm reading the one with... Can't get enough of your love, baby. Oh, I don't know, I don't know why. <laughs> if I'm making this cocktail for us, this is how I'm making it, Jay. Okay. I'm going to start with crushed ice, and then I'm going to add two parts lemonade. For some lovinade. Set the dinner table. Light the candles and serve up your lover a love potion number 13. Start with crushed ice and add two parts of lovinade. I mean, lemonade. On the road to getting laid and sprayed or on the way to getting, you know. Go I'll watch you move that blockade on the way to getting laid and sprayed. <laughs> <laughs> How else are you going to remove that blockade on the road to getting laid and sprayed? Add raspberry schnapps. How about, like, lightly caress? Do you have a friend coming over? Maybe two? Set the mood with. Set the freaky deaky mood with. Set the freaky deaky mood with a drink sure to quench your thirst. When we're trying to terrorize people, we gotta go all the way. Oh, we're going all the way here. Stimulate and tickle the sense. Oh, and tickle the, the senses. senses. A feather with leather. Uh, or a cuff that holds you together. <laughs> I don't know. Did you just pull that out of your ass? <laughs> the weed, man. Yeah, right, man. Yeah, baby, yeah. The conclusion to the chapter of this drink, which this drink is obviously right. turning everyone into horn dogs, banging out. Right. And squirting and powerful. <laughs> 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 a double pleasure's waiting for you. A double pleasure from Double Miss Gum. A double great feeling making you realize Double is the one for you. It keeps your mouth fresh throughout all of your spraying. Like if you're. <laughs> 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 if you're spraying like the rest of the time, you need your breath to be good for all that. If you're drinking this, you're serving this drink up. It's delicious. You, you're just shaking it up and you're drinking it. And you got the Spanish fly and you're feeling good. And what is the outcome of this? Like, how does the night end? What's the spin? If you drink this drink, then you're going to be spraying for six hours. <laughs> <laughs> you're not even going to have to worry about making out and everything because it's going it's to be, be fresh from the first blast to seven. <laughs> Set the dinner table, light the candles, and serve up your lover a love potion number 13. Start with crushed ice, add two parts, love and aid. I mean, lemonade. How else are you going to remove that blockade on the road to getting laid and sprayed? <laughs> Lightly caress one part raspberry schnapps. Do you have a friend coming over? Maybe two? Set the freaky deaky mood with a drink sure to quench your thirst. Become immersed. Powerful when you burst. <laughs> Tickle that bottle to release one part pomegranate vodka. <laughs> Stimulate and titillate the senses. Be it a feather, some leather, or cuffs that hold you together. Served in a margarita glass, rimmed with sweet, crystallized Spanish fly, stallion strength. Garnish with a sprig of mint and get ready to tingle with sensual stimulation. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> man, we, we would have killed an advertising Oh my god, I know. Happy birthday to you. Thank I remember going to a party at Chuck E. Cheese, and you know how they had the performers, the animatronic performers? Yeah, that they're sing? scary, yeah. Underneath, there was a, a hole, like a hole, and it was like a rat hole, 
and you can go to the left or the right, and there there was all these like there was these tunnels. Yeah, it was a maze. Like carpeted tunnels. It's it was the, like a maze. The yeah, the cheese maze. The cheese maze. Yeah, I remember running around in there, and, and like I remember we we're at one end of the maze with my friend, and, and was at the at the other side. She was the hot girl. We're like, look at look at <laughs> men. You know, she actually went out with me for a day. She went out with me for a day, dude. <laughs> what grade? It was like fucking fourth grade. I wrote her a note. Will you go out with me? She hated me. She was like, all right. And then the next day, she's like, nah, you're not my boyfriend anymore. We didn't even do anything at all. Remember how in school it was, will you go out with me, shit? Yeah. It was like that. And the next day, she said, don't need to. Those young loves. Was I dreaming? It was warm and breezy, and we were alone. Just you and me. And you kept whispering private thoughts in my ear and laughing softly. Personal thoughts, private dreams, life's little fantasies. Just call me, and we can share them. You and me, one to one. Call me. I want to be part of your dreams. Four ninety nine per minute. Remember those call shit? It'd be a chick. Yeah. It'd be like a chick riding around. It'd be like one nine hundred Serena or something. We're up all night, ready to talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> we're up all night, and we're ready to talk to oh, you. Oh shit! You know? Maybe yeah. that's what commercial we should have in this episode. <laughs> a one nine hundred number. That's it. We're writing it right now. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Oh boy, we need one for everybody. <laughs> okay. I promise not to tell. I said I'd be discreet. It's just between you and me. We're going to be in so much trouble for this. I know. Have you heard of furries? No! (laughs) Jason, type in furries. The results found that the majority of furries identify as male, although one quarter of furries identify as female. Transgender, transfluid, non-binary fluids are also... Okay, that's not explaining what definition. Let's start with the basic Google definition of a furry, which is... An enthusiast for animal characters with human characteristics. In particular, a person who dresses up in costume as such a character or uses one as an avatar online. Yep. Like a growing community of furries. So yeah. yeah they, they like dress up like... They're fucking all in weird costumes, man. Yeah. Like wolf and fucking... Are you serious? And so when he says what a... <laughs> God. <laughs> Holy shit, this picture is fucking gold, dude. I gotta send you this picture. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm, dude, whatever, whatever floats your boat, uh, whatever makes you happy, I'm all fucking for, dude. I don't give right? a fuck, but like, I gotta, I gotta send you this picture. <laughs> I just clicked on to show me the picture, asshole. <laughs> Dude, they got like a beard and shit. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Here, okay. look at this. Let me take it. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I almost want a princess to put it up on my wall. <laughs> wait a minute. That'll make me laugh. Wait, dude. what the fuck, dude? They're hanging out like in the kitchen, like <laughs> near a table. This is fucking absolutely fantastic. I mean,. I'm happy that these people found a, a, a community to to sit around mm-hmm. <laughs> and drink beer and a saber tooth tiger. Um, I'm what all for it, man. Dude, I'm absolutely fucking critting this out. I'm <laughs> putting it off. <laughs> I hope <laughs> sees that. Yeah. <laughs> Don't just think about a fantasy tonight. Pick up the phone and call. Call UH Deep Relations Hotline at one nine hundred oh six nine sexy for the interconnection you've always wanted. It's gonna start off like this. (laughs) (laughs) What about you and I act out a scene from a movie? They have to pick it. Romance, but but not really. You know, rom-com? Sort of rom-com type rom-com. thing? Rom-com. Okay. I wish I knew how to quit you. Why don't you just let me be, huh? It's because of you, Jack, and I'm not this. I'm nothing, and I'm nowhere. We love is love. That, that's what the universe is. Yeah. It's just love. Because I'm blind. I gotta find my De Niro glasses, man. I'm blind the whole goddamn time. We're all pretty in pain. Feel any better if I ask you to the prom? 
Yeah, I think Pretty in Pink's pretty popular. I think everyone should know that one. Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf when they argue? I swear if you existed, I'd divorce you. Burton and fucking Liz Taylor. Oh, uh, okay. I think it was The Godfather. <laughs> the Godfather? When Carlo and Talia Shire are arguing. And he's like, Ba Fangu. And she's like, Ba Fangu, you. <laughs> and then they're like smashing things. And he's like, You guinea brat. And she's like, Fuck you. You know, I'm paying such a great picture of marriage. I give this up. Let's just go with the cool shit. And we just fucking go, You know what? Fuck everybody. We're fucking them up. <laughs> Worked at the Gap with and was friends with who worked at my video store, and then okay. so and Kristen all lived together, and and I worked. We knew them each separately by working at their various places where they worked, and then we all realized, oh my God, we know each other, and then we started hanging out. And she was, you know, doing comedy and stuff like that. And it was early. 2002, 2003, dyed her hair blonde. And then she called us one day and said, dude, I'm going to be on MTV and I can get you in. So me, Disastra, and went downtown to like this crazy place. And we had weed on us. So we were smoking weed in the line to get in. And then and I ran to a fucking bodega near the studio and put it behind like some canned tomatoes a bowl and a weed and stuff. Okay. And then we got into the place and it was a fucking studio. And <laughs> we were sitting in the middle. <laughs> we, we have it. I have it on tape and everything. And Kristen was one of three people who would come out and lip sync to Gwen Stefani and dance and stuff and then answer questions from the panel and be in character. And, uh, and we were in the crowd. I had sunglasses on and there's a shot where you can see all of us like in a line and then she came in second I think and then afterwards we went back to the bodega and we went to the canned tomatoes in our fucking bowl and we were still there <laughs> yeah, it was like a shitty bodega like it was dark in the background so nobody you can't see anything you know what I mean yeah yeah that's when Kristen was on MTV mm, well to be fair Jim James Jimothy to be fair Jimothy the... oh, that sounds weird and it we got to name them. Okay. Your name is Chip. All right. I'll so name the dude. I heard a name that made me laugh. I put it in my memory bank because I was like, what the fuck? And it was a real person's name and it was a dude's name and it was so ridiculous. And you probably heard it, but I've never heard it in my life. So the guy's name was Jimothy. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of Timothy, it was Jimothy. <laughs> That's good. And I was like, I'm, I'm Jimothy. Yeah. Dude. I'm he's, Jimothy. He's, <laughs> How would you spell My that? middle name is Timothy. I've never heard that before. I kind of want to be Jason Jimothy. You know what I mean? All right, J- Jimothy, it is. Oh, beautiful. And uh, okay, this one has to be crazy. This has to be a crazy okay, name. Okay, you this make up the girl's like a name. You make industrial it name. I'm thinking you said uh, industrial, so I'm thinking steel. I'm thinking leather. Steel. Steel. Jimothy and steel. All right. Okay. <laughs> Sprockets. Sprockets. Best German Television presents Sprocket. Well, we got to make them weird and creepy, but not so creepy that we don't check this party out. Right. Let's take us somewhere back. Let's start with a Jimothy. Where are they from? Like, how, how should we do them? Or how should they do them? Like, I always go back to Germany, you know what I mean? I know like, you, what do. you think? Because I think of German techno and German industrial and, like, yeah. you know, yeah. Das Boot type shit. And, uh,. <laughs> Every girl is going to go to the bucket and pick a key. Whoever the keys belongs to gets to take them home with you. I have an idea. I want the key for disaster to be a snake or... <laughs> But we don't do it. We don't do it. You know what I mean? Right. But, like, I just want him to pick it. <laughs> okay. I just keep that in mind. It's going to be a game, though. We're, we're going to only expose it at the last second. Charlie Knuckles plays the dirty game, and she's going to run up the score on you. How about which actor or actress 
would you give your partner a free pass for? Sure. Great. Okay. That's good because age is a factor. Yeah. You know what I mean? So people back in the 80s don't look like they do in the 90s. And some, you know, yeah. age better. I think Kat would definitely 100% go for Charlize Theron. <laughs> Are you watching Monster? And she was like, wow, she looks really no. good. And you're like, no, <laughs> no. She doesn't. She's almost too pretty. I think there's like a thing too pretty. You know I, what I, mean? I agree with you. It's almost creepy. Like a mannequin. Yeah. Pretty, like, or something. She's not fucking aging at all. No, she's ridiculous. Like, if you look at fucking Cameron Diaz, she fucking aged overnight. All of a sudden, you just woke up the next day and you're like, what happened to Cameron Diaz? But Charlize Theron looks yeah. like she's getting hotter and hotter every movie, every year. What's happening? Yeah, no difference. Yeah. I love torturing my fucking... I like... I, I always amazing. like to scare her. I crouch down on the floor and I'll fucking wait for she, her. She allows me to do that because is like, you can't do that. You can do anything else, but don't scare me. Well, you know? I don't do it often. So I do it like once every six months. And then mm. I'll just wait for her. Like when she gets out of the shower or like if I know she's coming and she's going to go to bed, I'll stand on a certain side that she, I know she's not going to look. And then I'll just come out and be like, <sighs> and, uh, she'll jump. It's cute though. She, she does it cute. She doesn't get pissed off. She just laughs and kind of slaps me on the arm and is like, what? Don't do that. But it's funny every time. And sometimes she'll laugh hysterically or sometimes. She's chill too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's already high strung, so anything of disaster, but anything like that, yeah, you know, disaster is gonna be like, I'll fucking kill you, stop it, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Oh my god, I can't, I can't stand it, I can't really talk to the Joker, you know. I just, I'll never forget that picture you took of her where she was white as a ghost, man. I know <laughs> that's my I favorite picture it. of all time because yeah. she looks like the life has been scared <laughs> out of her body. Yeah, I was yeah, I was in the bedroom, pitch dark, and I go, rah! And at the same time I said rah, I snapped the picture, and that was it. <laughs> yeah. I'm I've just... never seen anybody more terrifying in a, in a picture. Yep, it was a Polaroid. I'll chip in for these psychiatric pills. Now get on, get your shoes on. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, Hey, Jay, I'd like to introduce you to my friend Snowflake. And please, don't state the obvious. What, that he, he he's a Muppet, isn't he? Hey, what do you talk? Why you calling me a Muppet? When you had that skit that you recorded with the dude with the puppet. Yeah. Could you get away with that this episode if you got on that elevator? So I'm thinking, just a thought, I don't know if it'll work, but just yeah. as maybe a you know, little fun thing I for it. I was thinking that too, actually. It's crazy, man. I mean, and you want you don't even want to talk about the Cookie Monster. Obviously, we got an addict right there. Right on fucking TV for all the kitties right there. A pure addict. We're just going to let him go out there, you know? Well, were those cookies spiked? No, they were just... I mean, dude, cookies are puppets crack, okay? Oh. You know why you don't see the Cookie Monster anymore? Why? They had to chop off his leg. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, diabetes. <laughs> oh, no shit. Yes. Hey, that makes sense. Man. Yeah. Wow. That would make it really insane. Can't fight the you know what I was thinking was, um, I have a name, I think I have a name for the person. Okay, who is it? Who did you type to me today? Who did I type to you today? Uh... There, there was a funny name that you typed to me today. Seeger. Seether? <laughs> Remember you typed to me Seeger? <laughs> yeah. That's what the fuck. <laughs> okay. For the sake of the uh, of the show here, Zach <laughs> wrote to me earlier today. Where the fuck is it? Okay, oh, okay, here we go. You're like, yeah, I'm gonna work on some effects. Blah blah blah. Talk tomorrow. I'm like, yeah, no worries, night. And you're like, I wrote Eber and sent him a hand. <laughs> Seether. And, and then I wrote to you. Can't fight the fever. <laughs> I don't know how the hell it took his name and made it into Seether, dude. I don't understand He's that. Gotta be fever. Okay, so do how do you want me to spell this? S E. How do I spell it? S E A V as in Victor E R. Okay, Seaver. <laughs> I'm Robert the Seepiest Love. 
I'll tell you what, Rob Lowe, because if, you, if you're fucking listening to this too, you, you bastard, we were watching The Outsiders the other day. Yeah. And I go, pick an outsider. And she's assessing them and shit. And she's like, eh, Tom Cruise is gross in this. He's like, Swayze, I'm going with Rob Lowe. Of she course. Rob Lowe, dude. Come on. <laughs> I go, you're not picking Swayze? She's like, nah. Uh, yeah. Wow. She's with Rob Lowe. Just so, so you know, I would have went with Swayze. I would have. Hey, whatever, you know, but she she didn't even really contemplate Swayze. It was like, oh, it took a second, like, that's Swayze. And, you know, you know, Rob Lowe. Swayze's you know. the fucking man. <laughs> Swayze would beat the fuck and then dance. I think dance, dance all over right Rob his Lowe's back. His pretty <laughs> face. <laughs> and that saxophone would be fucking all bent up. You wouldn't be able to work at the bar anymore. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Patrick Swayze would roadhouse the shit out of him. <laughs> Yeah, he'd rip his little stupid throat out. He'd have to stick his uh, <laughs> sex around in his throat hole. <laughs> so your girl picked him, huh? Not even Pony Boy? <laughs> no, her mouth not you or anything. No, she didn't even fuck in. It was like three seconds, dude. Wow. Three seconds. Three seconds. Damn. Yeah, he quickly looked in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah him. That was... <laughs> <laughs> I can't fucking say anything about that. Oh. He still looks fucking great at 58 or whatever. The yeah, fuck he does, you know? dude. He's some kind of weird creature. I don't understand. Our fucking generation looks horrible at 46. You look at the old high school people you'd see, <laughs> and now I don't even recognize them, man. We look like you know? loaves of GMO bread, man. <laughs> Tom is nobody's friend. No. Diabetes. Do you eat those fucking things at Easter? Um, the, the Cadbury eggs? You like those? No, I don't. You bite into it, and your tongue turns into diabetes. Yeah. Before you can swallow it. <laughs> your tongue does turn into diabetes, for sure. Before you even swallow it, and you're like, I can't eat this shit. Yes, my master. Are they sizing us up? Are they weirdos? Okay, we walk into the place, and within three seconds, Everybody has scanned the room, and you can see what kind of vibe it is. Is it like the downstairs at the pyramid mixed in, which is like industrial, like ball gag people? No. Are there people in whips? Are, like, are they all classy looking? I think they should be classy. Like, even the ball bag people can be going, Kavuzash! <laughs> Kavuzash! <laughs> I don't think it'll be okay. Are they like Igor's? <laughs> well, I just stuck my fucking fist in my mouth. I tried to talk. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's what they would sound like, and it sounds funny. Iridocyclitis. I totally misspelled that. Oh my lord, how in the fuck would you spell? Dude, imagine if our life depended on that. No, we'd be fucked. I can't even. I can't, Spell check's you know not what? even helping me. <laughs> <laughs> in this round of you know funny money or whatever yeah even if the guy said pick two other people and there'll be four of you you gotta spell schware <laughs> we're all there's no fucking way we would win we I would i don't know that S- where do you begin with that fucking word dude okay let me see here i'm gonna ask, ask how to fucking <laughs> don't do it because it says how stupid people spell soiree and i spelled it how a stupid person was it was sw s-w-a-r-a-y is how a stupid person would spell it. <laughs> it's s-o-i-r-e you that class. What can you say? <laughs> I, 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 in the spelling bee did you did you ever get up the teacher's like, all right, everybody get up, look around to the outside of the room, yep. you, know, you know, around the desk, and then she would go down the line. Yep. Yep. And if you failed, you had to sit down. What percentage were you? Were you in, like... I was one so of the worst ones. If there were 30 people, would you be, like, number seven? Because that's probably what I would be. Like if there six, were 30 maybe, people, I might... Maybe even lower. I'd be about a there. nine... <laughs> Yeah. On the list. I don't know. I Maybe mean, a 12. About seven. I could be 9 to yeah. 12 uh, in spelling, but in uh, reading and comprehension and writing, I'm really good at it. And I can retrieve the words, but I can't totally spell agree. them. <laughs> no. It's crazy. Because no. my brain will pop words out that I'm like, wow, that's amazing. Where did that come from? You know what sucks? You know, the bake sales? Yeah. And they would have like a fucking cupcake or a brownie for the prize. And I'm like, I'm never getting that. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm never getting that. <laughs> Fucking forget it. So let's start today. We'll use a little one-inch brush. Do you know what I play for my cats when they're out here hanging out all night and I'm editing or whatever? What? I put Bob Ross on. Do they like it? Yeah, they like it. They'll just stare at it. It keeps them calm, you know what I mean? So they won't get nuts. Sleepy. Bring out the gimp. Get the gimp sleepy. Well, I guess you just have to go wake him up now, won't you? Yeah. Hi, hi there. Do you know, uh, you know, all you got to do is really talk to people. All you got to do is really talk to people. Uh, do, you, do, you, do you know how you know how to talk to people? Uh, yeah. Do you just put your lips together and talk? Well, it's, you know, it's a little more like that. Like, yeah, you can do it normally, you know, like, hey, you know, what's your sign and shit, you know, and fucking, you know. Or you can just, like, you, you can get romantic. You can really get up in here. You can be like, <laughs> I think you. you be like, hey, 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 I've been really eyeballing you. You know, just not even hungry looking at you, you know what I mean? Like, fuck the food. Uh, you know, or, 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 you know, if that's not working, then you can be like, you know, you know, after, after this, how about we get in the, we're just so shy. How do you talk to people? I got a tube steak smothered in my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We got to use the word tube steak. So how about something like, you know, I'd say, I'd go up to them and say hello. And then I'd, I'd get really close to them and then I'd go looking real good tonight. I don't even want to eat any food. You're making me hungry. I'm a little dry, but you're making me leak fluid. You like that? You like me fighting? Uh, uh, and do like the tongue thing. Yeah, big, fat, thick gravy. Yeah, and then you'll take it and you'll go, uh, like, have, do something where he's like go moaning. Throwing moans in there to remind me. Thick gravy. I'm going to be performing it looking at her. You like that? Well, you like who? Oh, you like that? You like that little girl? little girl like that oh yeah come here yeah come to daddy (laughs) come to daddy (laughs) save that for the next round she's gonna be so fucking creeped out by this (laughs) i'll guess your weight (laughs) this is so she's gonna make me sleep on the couch my dude you like when i talk to you like that huh (laughs) (laughs) it's not too forward is it Do you know how I would talk to somebody? I'd say, get on your fucking knees, and while you're down there, we'll play Battleship and you can blow the hell out of me. What the goddess wants, the goddess gets. I'm an inferno. I'm a tempest. I am venom and gangs and claws. I am lightning and starlight, and I am hell in high heels. Now lick my boots, you bitch. <laughs> I think bitch might be a little too much at the end there. I cannot believe the direction this has all gone in. Um, I would have never expected it, any of it to be like this, actually. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the drink and the cupcake. We'll see you later. Well, Maniacs, there you have it. This concludes the writing sessions.